Welcome to Beck's Beginner's Guide of Neo, Chapter 4, Silvermine Race. So, when starting this mission, immediately go to the right, and then just go past this uh, small cave, and then just fight this remnant right here. And then there is the first, uh, uh, basically yokai that shoots out poison fog just take him out and then you're able to uh, roam freely on the ground you know, with no poison fog loot this corpse and then we're just gonna loot another corpse right there then we'll just go down here it's another poison fog so in order to destroy the next yokai uh, that spouts the fog. Uh, climb up the ladder, shoot that revenant that throws uh, fire bombs, and just wait for this yokai to uh, walk to a little far away. So just sneak your way there. Don't run or dash, otherwise, he'll hear you. And then there you go. You can just dash when you're farther away from him. Alright, and then you see the next uh, poison yokai right there. Just keep shooting him with the matchlock. If you're out of the ammo, just basically use the cannon to take it out as well. And then now all the, the poison fog is gone. Uh, just go to the ladder right there. Uh, loot this corpse. Uh, and then immediately just wave dash your way out of them. Climb up this ladder. And then you will have to fight this revenant before obtaining the mine key. In order to get the mine key, you gotta loot this corpse. Alright, so jump down here, use the mine key. And then uh, there's another corpse you can loot. And then we'll get to the shrine to have our checkpoint. There's nothing to do right here, so we'll just, once we have the shrine, exit out. Alright, so this next one, we're going to be using a machine to get rid of the fog and not destroying the yokai poison fogs, or poison fog yokai creatures. Alright, so this wheel yokai, you just have to find a way to pass him, jump down here, turn on this uh, machine, that will suck all the poison out, you'll have uh, at least maybe a minute or two of time of, with free poison. There's a revenant right there, just watch out. Uh, just basically strike him down. And then, uh, actually, we're uh, gonna lure this wheel yokai, or hot wheel yokai out. Uh, loot this corpse, wave dash a little bit, then jump down here, loot this box, then jump down here, immediately go to the right, then go to the right again, keep wave dashing, climb up this ladder. And then we're going to be see another Hot Wheel Yokai right through that crate. So just immediately dash to the left. Keep wave dashing all the way down here. Switch to Dual Sword. Go to High Stance. Jump down. And then once the battle starts, immediately go to the right. Climb up this ladder. Because we're going to be turning on the machine that will suck the uh, poison fog in order for you to fight uh, this giant centipede uh, easily. Use your kick eye, jump down, use carnage. That will immediately lure the centipede to you. Cover your uh, dual sword with water. Uh, weakness. Uh, use the right timing to dodge the attack. Then immediately he will be stunned when using a uh, water sword. Now immediately switch to wind. And uh, repeat, just dodge at the time when he attacks. And then just use Water Sword. Voila. So if you have done this step correctly, congratulations. You have defeated Giant Centipede. Uh, Alright, but if you haven't be able to uh, uh, done those moves, uh, you can still you can still keep going. Uh, repeat the process, dodge his attack, do Water Sword, uh, block, and then again, block. 
dodge. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Uh, and if the poison icon is shown on your uh, st below the stamina, uh, immediately go back up the ladder, turn on the machine, and then uh, and then repeat the the process of battling giant centipede. All right, so I wanted to mention this uh, on my previous videos. I have been saying uh most of the time. That is because I am uh, commentating. I am commentating from my head, not reading it from the script. So it's coming from my emotions itself. So I want to say I apologize from the previous videos and my uh, uh, in the future videos along with this one about you know just saying uh. Um, I, even though if I said emotion, even though I'm trying to sound bland, I don't want to sound so high for you to feel or hear annoyance from me. But yeah, um, yeah, I got another one. <clears throat> anyway, uh, go to the blacksmith, uh, purchase your ammo, uh, if you need, purchase a higher weapon and armor, feel free. If not, exit out, go to the shrine, go to blessing. Sell for more, sell the weapons for more Amarita, and we're going to level up our body by two and then magic by one. And we are going to the ready jutsu and switch water uh, to fire talisman. And then we are probably going to take out the wind talisman and replace it with the fire shot. And uh, we're actually going to be. Uh, Doing a little switcheroo on the shortcut. So yeah, so use the uh, Hyoko mask um, and place it onto the second shortcut if you want. If you're okay with what you have, uh, as long as you have the fire talisman and the fire shot, the Hyoko mask, and then we're also going to be, there are some fire amulets if you have picked them up during your mission. Feel free to put it in your shortcut as well. And then on the next video, we're going to be going to the next mission, which is the, the Ocean Roars Again. And the boss we'll be fighting is named Omi Buzo. Alright, we're going to be fighting all the Kodamas in the Silver Mine Rites. So the first Kodama, uh, basically there is a poison yokai right there. Uh, He's hidden un around the uh, pillar, uh, the rocky pillars, I would say. So you can take him out, or if you want to risk with the poison, as long as you have antidote with you, by all means. And the Kodama should be to your right. Now for the second Kodama, just pass through this uh, s uh, small hole, uh, uh, jump down, just go to the left, climb up this ladder. And then you just go to the right, and then you'll find the next Kodama right there. That's near a corpse. The next Kodama, uh, just hug around this pole right here, jump down, uh, and then the next Kodama should be just off of here. And yeah, that's the next Kodama. All right, the next one, just jump down here. And as you can see, just uh, wave dash here, climb up the ladder right here. So just make your way across this bridge, go to the right, and the next Kodama is actually hidden in one of the pots, I believe, or a box. Uh, this is going to be the uh, same thing for the next Kodama. So right here, just slowly walk down and uh, you'll find the next Kodama in the box somewhere and then the next Kodama is actually just right next to the mine door so that one will be pretty easy to find uh, and then this one when you go out and pretty much uh, where the uh, Hot Wheel Yokai and then the Revenant that was gonna jump you just go to the right jump down here go to the left and then the next Kunamu is right here. Alright, so jump down. Uh, so basically, I was a little confused at first, but you just take the left as soon as you jump down. 
keep going and then turn around and you'll find the uh, Kodama right there. And then the last Kodama, just keep walking up. I mean, the climbing, keep climbing the ladder up, sorry. And where you see the Hot Wheel Yokai, uh, where he spawned, that's where you'll find the final Kodama. And congratulations, you have found all the Kodamas. So, we're just going to go to the nearest shrine. Just uh, show how many Kodamas we have captured and how many Kodamas are there in each blessing. And uh, yeah, hopefully this video has helped you out.